In the last video, we have discussed about the planets through sixth house of the horoscope. Today, we are going to start a brand new series with planets through seventh house of your horoscope. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahajani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. You will be getting Vedic Astrological videos just like this one. If you have any question, add me on Instagram at Pramanic Astrology and DM me. I read all the DMs and I reply to almost all the DMs. If you have any question, you can also comment on the YouTube videos. I read all the comments and I reply to almost all the comments. Have you watched my Rahu transit in Ardra Nakshatra video? I have not posted that in YouTube, but if you want to watch that, just go to the website and you will get a link to watch that video. Let's start with sun in the seventh house. What is seventh house? First house is all about yourself. First house is the reference point, the anchoring point around which all the chart revolves around. All the lordship of the planets can be decided with just ascended. And seventh house is equally important as it is directly opposite to the first house. So first house is all about yourself. Seventh house is all about the other people. And who are these other people? These other people can be your spouse. Your business partner, the other person in your life like your grandmother. Why grandmother? Because seventh is the secondary house for the mother. Like seventh house is fourth from the fourth and tenth from the tenth and seventh from the first. It is so important. So seventh house also is the house of your career and is also the house of your home. What is Kendra houses? Kendra houses are the house number one, four, seven, ten in your houses. These are the foundation of your horoscope. And seventh house is one of the prominent house in these Kendra houses. So when you're looking in the chart, look for these Kendra houses. If you have more and more planet in the Kendra houses, it gives solid foundation to your horoscope. Today we are going to talk about the effect of sun through the seventh house. Seventh house is also the house of Kama Trikon house. Along with the third house and eleventh house, seventh house is also one of the Kama Trikon houses. Kama Trikon houses are the houses which drives you through desires or I would say distract you from your dharma through the desires. One, five, nine are the Swadharma, are the houses where you are inclined towards the thing you are aligned to your purpose and Kama Trikon houses are the houses which will distract you with the desires third house is hobbies seventh house is marriage eleventh house is gains these are all material houses these are not spiritual houses so yes this is one of the Kama Trikon houses seventh house is the house of endings why it is the house of endings we always talk about death from the 8th house. Then why are we considering 7th house as death? Here's the thing about this 7th house. In the first house, sun is rise. Sun is rising in the first house at the eastern horizon. And in the 7th house, it is setting. Sunset is in the 7th house. Okay. You will realize that at a 6 a.m. roughly when there is a sunrise it will be in the first house and it will go anti-clockwise it won't go to the second house at 7 a.m. it will go to the 12th house it will be in the 11th house at around 10 a.m. it will be in the 12th excuse me in the 10th house at the 12 p.m. brightest and when it reaches the 7th house it is sunset now things are coming to end now it's time to be with the other person so when we end our day we are with our family we are with our spouse right now we are ending our day so these are the endings 
So seventh house also signify the end. And this could be death. Why death? Because it is directly opposite to the first house. Not only that, if you observe the Kalpurush Kundali, that is the Aries Ascendant, the second house and the seventh house are considered as the Maraka houses. What is Maraka? Maraka is death inflicting houses. So these are considered as the Maraka houses. Seventh house is one of the Maraka houses. Seventh house is also the house of travel. You won't believe that, but yes, seventh house is the house of travel. Most of the destinations, just like the death, are considered by the seventh house. Seventh house also signifies the business, the trade, the, the exchange of commodities in two parties. When there is an exchange, the trade, where there is that other person, that other person is the seventh house. Wherever there is an other person, it is the seventh house. Be it spouse, be it business, be it other country. Foreign residents can also be seen from the seventh house. Now we have to look for what is sun. Sun is the planet of soul. Sun gives the rigidity sun gives the strength sun is extremely reliable sun is the planet of authority sun is light it gives the light enlighten us with the knowledge and once you have the knowledge it gives you the vision once you have the vision it gives you the clarity to achieve those vision and once you have that it gives you that authoritative figure. You, you become authority in your work. You become successful in your career. You become leader in your career. These are all the qualities of the sun. You can relate to sun's quality with the real sun. Like he always shows up in the morning. He's always there. He's reliable. He has that strength. He has the light. You cannot look directly in, in the sun. It's that powerful. Now all these qualities of sun are coming into the seventh house of the horoscope. It is also the significator of the soul, the self. It is also the significator for the consciousness one have. The self-awareness can also be seen from the sun. Now sun is into the seventh house of the horoscope. What is seventh house? Seventh house is the house of the endings, the sunset. And now sun comes in here. So sun is not that powerful or not that comfortable in the seventh house. Seventh house sun is like a sunset. So he's not as powerful like a 10th house sun, which is a 12 p.m. sun. Whenever you want to judge the sun's placement in the houses, just look at the time. Go to your chart. Just see at what time sun is powerful and just look at what house it is at that time. In the seventh house, it is around the evening time. So it is not that powerful. He is not comfortable in the seventh house because sun is about self seventh house is about others so here sun lose power and that and he doesn't like that sun likes to be in the first house where he is king health personality self-consciousness and the kendra sthan the first house and he loves that significations it is very closely resonating with its own energy but in the seventh house he is not comfortable seventh house is the house of the other self and sun is the planet of self seventh house is the maraka house and sun is the planet of life seventh house is the house of travel seventh house is all about travel you are traveling to other country 
far from the first house. You're going far away from the first house. And sun is stability. Sun never moves. All the planets revolve around sun. Sun is stable. So it is a kind of a contradiction for sun to be in the seventh house. He doesn't like that. <coughs> so it is kind of contradiction or being in the so it is like a contradiction for sun to be in the seventh house. Seventh house is the house of the relationship. And sun is extremely self-reliant. Self-reliant is very much like a Mars, but self-reliant resonates more with Mars. But sun itself is so powerful himself that he doesn't feel the need to have a relationship. So this can frustrate sun in the seventh house. Sun from the seventh house aspect the first house of the horoscope. Now this brings in the element of sun. Sun likes the first house, the health and personality, all that significations of the sun resonates with the first house. So he loves to be in the first house. So when sun aspects the first house from the seventh house, you can expect a high esteem spouse. You will get a spouse who will increase your confidence or your self-esteem. If sun is strong in your chart, is well dignified and is in good condition, this gives a very good spouse, a reliable and devoted spouse, I would say. So what to watch next? Go to my playlist and look at how to get started into Vedic Astrology. So these, these playlists will help you to get started into Vedic Astrology. And you can also go through the playlist of how to know more about relationship or the retrogression planets playlist. I would highly recommend these two, three playlists if you are just starting into Vedic Astrology. So yes, this was sun in the seventh house as much as I could hold grasp and share with you guys sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace